Morning folks, we're in Wednesday. Uh, first job we're going to do is uh, get the kit moved back to that side, down the little yellow brick road here, or red. Uh, that side's still tacky, not flashed off yet. All that side, solid, perfect, dry, good for us to get back onto. So it's a full deep clean and reassemble of the boil kettle, HLT and mash tun, get them in place, get all the pipe work back on and then it's ready for a brew day next week and then hopefully by the afternoon that side will be dry and we can start to work on those cold room doors as I suggested yesterday fail that we'll get some more paint out so I'm just off to pick some plumbing stuff up and Stu's pulling in good timing yeah so he's gonna pull out and let me out so I'm off to a tool station ah, dear. to pick up um, plumbing pipe work for the HLT and uh, also for the sink in the kitchen so we're going to plumb a double sink in upstairs in the pub not in the brewery we made it yet again to tool station uh, we're loaded up, so just time to shoot back now and uh, get this pipe installed. sunshine beaming in through the windows and we've been cracking on with the plumbing for the HLT so this stuff here is to enable me to recharge refill the HLT directly from the plate heat exchanger recirculate and uh, run off into the mash tun all without having to disconnect hoses and what have you all the pipe work is now in situ just a couple of valves and fittings to put on and then we're done. Jack's also varnished all of the timber work this side. So we had another coat, the fermenters, the, uh, the decking, the handrails, everything is just on with the new decking behind the new tanks over there. The floor's pretty much flashed off over here. There's just a bit of stickiness to do over there. And then uh, we might, if we're lucky, I think I might have another project on the go, but we might get round to putting the doors on the cold room today, if we've got enough time. I think we'll squeeze it in. It's not a massive job really, and it's two o'clock now. So maybe if I do that right away after this, we'll get it done. But uh, yeah, you can watch me put the last few fittings on this HLT if you like. The trouble is it's a little bit washed out, isn't it, with the uh, sun. Let's see if that's a better shot. Kinda. We've started the cold room doors as you can see here so what I've decided to do as well as shoot nothing on the camera is uh, we're gonna go with the extra therm sheets just like this covered in the hollow angle it's called hollow angle because it's hollow 
down the sides and I've also put hollow angle up the tops there to make like a little reveal for them to slot into you'll see kind of how neatly it all kind of fits together just by slotting him into there and that will keep that particular piece in position so what we're going to do is have these bolted on like this but with the uh, that, that way we're going to have it on that way if that makes sense to you and then this back section this front section rather we're going to put a piece of plywood on there so that's what we need to pick up right now so you can see there's a lip which will just be thick enough to put a piece of ply I've got a little bit of ply in stock but it's not the right thickness so I'm going to shoot off to the wood yard with Jack once I've got the key off Stuart and we're going to pick up some half inch to put on all of these doors yes it is going to make the doors a little bit heavier that is potentially a problem but when you're lifting one door off at a time well if you can't shift a sheet of plywood you shouldn't be shifting casks of beer frankly so uh, I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem for a strapping young lad like Stuart you see that just there that bit there shuts at four yeah that says everything we need to know drop my keys so what do you do when the wood yard's closed bit of retail therapy you just knew we were going to end up back here at some point today so we're just driving past uh, the cemetery where i often go for a run and uh, this nice lady had a sign outside on her gate her name's jan Jan's, oh that's a bit washed out here, there we go, Jan's Retford Honey, check that out. So I went and picked up a couple of jars, a five or a jar, we've got one set and one runny. And she even said uh, if I bring the jar back I'll get 50 pence off my next pot. But it's only been filtered once so it's got bee legs in it and pollen and everything, all the good stuff. So I'm looking forward to trying that. Look at that in the glorious sunshine. <laughs> well that's it for the day here at the brewery. We're back. The wood yard was closed. We got some screws and hinges from Screwfix. And we picked up some freaking honey. I'm going to go home now. And we're going to give her a taste test because I freaking love honey. So I've come out to Clumber Park. There's the gates. It's the south side, it's dead quiet over here because they're re-fencing the whole place. So I've brought the dog, we're going to go for a run, maybe get a couple of miles under our belt. Uh, I'm just taking the phone with me uh, for tracking distance. We'll leave the camera here and uh, reluctantly I'll also be taking some poo bags. Just in case Chance drops a humongous turd and I'll have to run back here with it. So uh, yeah, you'll see me really red faced in about half an hour's time yeah I told you oh very sweaty me but look at this I managed to get 6.1 freaking kilometers in there come on focus oh check it out 36 minutes 6.1k <coughs> I'm happy with that what I'm not happy with was just as we started yeah he did two freaking turds so I've had to pick uh, two turds up and we're going to have to put them in the back of the car and cart them home. Thanks for that, Chancy boy. Hey, a little turd burglar. So, camera's going away. I need to have a drink. I've not had a drink yet. And uh, I'll catch my breath before I drive anywhere. I've definitely earned a sample of that freaking honey when I get home. Jesus. Oh, my mouth is so dry. Anyway, cheers, Clumber Park. You've done about fuck me up tonight, bud. Oof. Oh, poor Chancy boy as well. He's knackered. You did every step of the way, didn't you? Albeit you was a little bit lighter after the first hundred metres. Yes, yeah, son of a dick. Bayek, I'm recording now. So, let's get stuck in to Jan's Retford honey before uh, I collapse of exhaustion and lack of 
carbohydrates, bloody hell, for an old bird. She put this lid on tight. Right, so this is the set honey, which she informs me you can spread on your toast. Oh, it's crystallised. And she said they've not been fed on rape, it's all natural flowers. She lives in the, uh, backs onto the cemetery. Mm, look at that. It does look rather, if the camera will focus for one minute and help me out. Come on, buddy. Oh, it looks like it's sliding off the spoon a little bit already. There we are. So it should focus on that now. Lovely bit of honey. Mmm. It is crispy, right? It's like candy. Mmm. Mm. Should have done the runny first. Mmm. That is good. So she said, it's uh, Gemma's here, so I'm not completely talking to myself, although I normally do. She said, uh, it's only been filtered once, so it's full of pollen and the occasional bee's legs and whatever else. And now for the runny stuff. I actually prefer the runny stuff usually because it's a little bit stronger, I find. The taste is a little bit stronger. Look at that golden deliciousness. Oh, folks. Mmm. That is bloody gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Mmm. And I know what everyone's going to be saying. Why don't you make some mead out of it? Mead's friggin' horrible. Why would you want to turn a beautiful product like that into a horrible, stale, oxidised, one of the worst drinks on the planet, I think, mead. So no, I won't be making any bloody mead. And everyone who does out there has just unsubscribed, I imagine. So that's it. I'm going to have some more of this because it's really nice. So I've got quite a few honeys in my honey collection now. Where have they gone, Gem? Oh, they're over here, look. That's a crap one. There we go. Where's that one your mum got me? No. So this is, oh, that's the one, is it? Mm. Some acacia honey from the co-op with some, it was really waxy. I think it's fake honeycomb in there, to be honest. This one was nice, the Three Counties stuff. I had one of these that was runny as well, but I think that's uh, it's been devoured, hasn't it? Yeah, I think that's it. So I am uh, eating my way into my honey collection slowly, but I found a new supplier. So as far as the vlog goes, folks, uh, we'll see you on tomorrow's. Mm. Where I'll probably have diabetes. <laughs>